Um, this is much more of a very, actually went very natural and well, if you want to know how I created this look, I just wanted to go back, strip it back to the bare necessities. The bare necessities, the bare makeup necessities. Um, and just by explaining what brushes are used and what sponges are for and uh, you know, just stripping it all back. And I just did a very, very bare eye look with a strong, bold look, lip. And I thought, mm, I have fancy corkscrew curls on my hair, but I want to go around seeing my granny. So I used a tighter wand. And if you want to know how I created this look, stay tuned. Oh, before I forget, if you could click the thumbs up and then maybe click the subscribe button and maybe um, pop a comment below and say nice things. Or, you know, just say hi. Because um, I like engaging with you all. That sounds odd. Hello, how are we doing? Okay, so I have done my base already. Um, as you know, or you might not know, this might be the first time you've ever watched any of my videos. If not, watch some more. And you'll know that I always do my base before I do anything else. And I seem to be the only person that does this. And I don't know why I do it this way. I just do. I don't have any problems with it, so that's it. Anywho, I want to go for a pretty simple look. I've already done my contouring and my my base. See, I've made my clothes make my nose look smaller and give myself a bit of shape and chisel. So I want to go with a strong lip and a very basic eye. Because normally I go lots of the eyes and very nude on the lips, and I'm like, meh. Why? Why? Let's have some fun today. So, um, I'm going to be, tr I'm going to try and use, I'm trying to use as cheap as makeup as, as I can. Um, um, because a friend had said to me, she's like, I don't even know what brushes I'm supposed to use and what, what, what what's contouring. So I'm trying to break everything down, back to basics. Back to basics. Bare necessities. Brush my brows out of the way. I tint my eyebrows because I am naturally very blonde. Very, very blonde. Blessed, you could say, but not when you look like albino and you've got no lashes. That would be fixed. That would be fixed. Okay, so I'm going to start with my eyes. And I'm going to be using the W7 palette in the buff. Um, again, W7, really cheap range. You can get it in... You'll be able to get it in your town drugstore. You will. It's the, they're, they're actually really decent um, palettes, really. And not pricey at all. At all. So I'm going to get several different brushes, show you what I use them for, and why. Okay? The first thing I want to do is to... Ha create a base um bringing up a color and just a nudie color and bring it just above the crease of my eye natural crease of my eye and with for that i'm going to use this creaser um well it's a lux, lux creaser this is the zoeva brush um you don't have to get such expensive brushes i just i i am in love with this brush to the point that i'm like <laughs> i know i want to buy five of them and I'm just going to go in with a very subtle light brown. First. Okay, I'm sorry, I've got to, got to, got to close that. Um, really, because I do wear glasses. I'm not blind without glasses, but if I'm doing work like this, I, I kind of need to, I can't do it from far away. I don't want to look like I've just thrown bucket of makeup at myself oh gosh oh i forgot which one i used rookie mistake yeah i'm just building that up just above the crease line up near my brow bone but not on my brow bone okay and now i'm trying i don't want to go any further than that 
because it would just make your whole eye look droopy. First of all, just go in a normal crease, get a little further up. Okay, so it started to get some definition going. To create a little more definition, this is a Lux pencil. It's um, it's just it's more stubby and it's you can be more precise with it. Now, this is where I'm going to use my darker color to define the outer corner and bring in and define my crease. So for that, I am obviously going to use a dark color. And I am going to use this one. This is just a nice sparkly dark brown. And I start by dabbing it in the corner. If you have hooded eyes, and I there are hooded eyes in my family, but I, the, mine aren't too hooded at the moment. Um then go slightly higher with this darker colour. Um, because if you if you just put it in the crease, it will get lost, you know? You know what I mean? Do you see? Unless I'm doing that. So relax your eye and see where you need to take it. And then you can kind of give it the surprise look and go with it then. Now this, I am taking on a, mm, a sort of drawing a point, I want to say. I'm kind of drawing the eye up. I guess I am. I'm just going to go all the way into half and then bring it in. Um, okay. So, to blend this, I've just got a big fat fluffy brush. I'm just gonna flick this up. I think a lot of people put their do their eyes before their um base because of the residue and, and also you can create a, a very strong line up here, but there's nothing to say that you can't go back up with your with your sponge and reaffirm that you know and then just dust that away when you're done same thing as in there um on my lid okay yeah it's not this isn't this isn't cheap this is a Bobby Brown um, Lux Eyeshadow Rich Luster and Overheated. It is beautiful. It is so beautiful. Now for that, I want to use, I find personally, using a flatter brush um, as such. Um, and particularly with this actual eyeshadow, I find it works better with a damper brush. Okay, this has got a handy little mirror in it. Because I feel like um, with this one, you don't really have to load it up, unfortunately. And just with that gold. And then marry that up. And then taking that up here to and I'm using a lighter on my lid because it just creates an illusion of a deeper socket line and bigger eyes. Golds work really well with blue or, or light eyes. If you've got light eyes, golds really make make them pop um 
Um, all I want to do now is highlight my brow bone and highlight my inner corners. And again, you can use the same, meh, the same little brush. That was clean. This is the Jouer powder highlighter. Um, it's just a pre sparkly pink. Using that, going up to my brow bone. even done my brows yet. Not that they need much doing when they're tinted, to be honest. I'm succumbed to the fact that I need to go and get them shaped because they're a bit unruly right now. Okay, there we go with the eyes. Five brushes. Three colours. Ready? Three colours? Yeah. And the eyes. Um, I'm just going to sweep them. This is where I put that white powder to create that kind of line. Already I feel that lifted look. Now, blusher. Put some colour in the cheeks. I'm going to use my NARS orgasm because it's a solid fave. Um, <laughs> what can I say? It's sparkly. It's got a bit of a, yeah, it's got a bit of a sparkle. I'm just going to put it on the apples. I'm not too heavy handed if you don't want to look like Aunt Sally. Like I said, I want to go pretty simple here because I want to go with a strong lip. Um, also, I'm going to be using, I'm going to attempt to use, which will require using a liquid liner, which <laughs> I hate doing, I hate doing, but hey, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using magnetic false lashes because I literally don't have any eyelashes at all. Hi. <laughs> so. I'm going to do my brows, my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to just redefine them using um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, Dip Brow, in uh, medium brown. Comes with the brush and the. Um, so you put it on with. Put some on my brush, not too much. You can always add more. And I'm going to do my outline first. I really don't like a solid heavy brow look. I really, really don't. But I'm just following the natural shape of my brow. I'm going to go with these bits. I kind of push. Like push the brush up and the product into it. Go back in. Just slightly more divine. Um, I'm going to do my lips using, and you can use any red that you want. I'm going to go red <laughs> off because I just said red. I'm using the Kylie Jenner um, Velvet Lip Kit because I love it. I love it. It's, it oh, the texture is amazing and it stays all day. I just love it. And I always go with nudes. So that's why I've gone with a very soft eye look. And I'm going to go boom with my lips. I'm going to go... Now normally, if I do... Just saying this. When I normally do my nude lips, I put my lip liner on afterwards because I use a darker liner to get that th kind of 3D defined look because I overline, but not if I'm doing a stronger colour, I don't do that. I use the lip liner first. So 
I love the Kylie Jenner lip pencils. They don't drag when they go on. They're lovely. Can you see what I've done here to create the Cupid's bow? And I have overlined. Um, however, they are a nightmare to sharpen. Absolute nightmare. The only downside. Kylie, work on that. Then taking the um, the velvet lipstick, this stuff, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. It goes on wet and then it kind of dries, but it doesn't go, you know when you get those ones that go kind of crunchy dry and you just, uh, you want to squash it all off your lips. This doesn't, it just feels like a velvet lip, lipstick and it stays put. And I'm just going to fill that in. So pretty. I know it's my teeth that's so white. <laughs> my lips are so red. Love it. Okay. Uh, last bit for the face. I need to highlight. Um, and I know I've got like a body highlighter right in front of me as a make. So I'm using the makeup. I, I'm gonna. I'm just addicted to this at the moment. It's the the. the Honey Jenner, um, loose powder highlighter. Oh, I just love it because, and I this is the kind of brush I use for my highlighter. I just find this works better. I'm gonna use it just on my brat on my bone here, and I just love this one because it really makes it look so glass-like with very minimum product. To be honest, look, I'm not. I haven't got very much on there. Slow, so lightly powdering. No. You know when you see people put it on the end of their nose? Only do that if you have a beautiful, gorgeous, tiny little nose. If you have a nose like me, don't do that. Um, if you want to be a bit generous, put a bit on the clavicle. Okay, so those are the brushes and how I use them and what I use them for and my lips. Now we're going to attempt to do the magnetic lashes. Um, there, I need some lashes. Okay, so I'm going to first, I'm just going to put some mascara on. This is just Superhero by It Cosmetics. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this as attainable as possible. So I had individual lashes for the longest time. And obviously with quarantine, it can't have them done. So I have found that magnetic lashes... Um, have been my saving grace really um thank the lord makeup has come a long way and i just realized i haven't used any eyeliner do you think i need it i do I'll just take my mac up here don't need too much Ideally, don't do this after your mascara because you might end up with a smudge. <laughs> okay, so this is the magnetic liner. One thing I have found from trying these, a thin line won't cut it. You need a thicker line and you need two coats and you need to let it dry.
also my lashes um they, they're quite wide so I, I cut they come with like five magnets on them and I cut one magnet off on the shorter side because it, it was just too long it's just too long my eyes aren't big enough for it okay Just gonna let that dry before we put the lashes on. Fair play, Kylie. Well done. In bed. Who thinks Kylie should start sending me her makeup for free? Because I use so much of it. To dry, waiting for it to dry. Is it dry yet? I gotta be honest, I kind of I don't know why use a liquid liner, but I like it. It's a very 40s look. Mmm, I should do my hair. I think it's dry. Here we go. Okay, liner's dry. And closer, children. Okay, I have just laid them out so I know which is going where. This is my lash. Now, by all accounts, this should just cling. But I do find that my little lash applicator comes in a bit handy here. This is what I normally use with my, um, uh, if I was using glue on lashes. Mm -mm -mm. Which I Personally, do not like. Oh, oh, oh. It is sticking. I can feel it sticking, actually. Ooh. Okay, I got there. I got there. Um, was not easy. Mm, no, it wasn't. It wasn't easy at all. Uh, pose upsides. I like the fact that I've kind of got a lash line. And I've got a very 40s glam look going on here. This kind of happened. I think it's a red lip. I did that. Um, the lashes, oof. Man, they were a mess to put on. They really were. Uh, <laughs> um, but the nice thing about it is that, unlike the ones, that you can kind of like take them off and reposition them. So. Mm. 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 So. This is my finished look. Well, it's not. I haven't done my hair yet. But that is the basics of makeup. The brushes, the contouring, the shading and why why when where how who hope it was helpful any questions pop them in the comments below um always give me a thumbs up um maybe just give me a little comment anyway just to say that was helpful or could you do this or would you use again um if you want me to list some of the products that i use then i will do so i will see you later um i'm gonna do my hair now i don't know what to do with it Feeling 40s. I'm also feeling like kind of like, mm, I'm gonna go a little bit crazy. Who knows what I'll do? But until then, have fun. Enjoy. Stay safe. Bye.